Hi, this is Benny Vaughn. I want to talk with you today about lateral epicondylitis and medial epicondylitis. Oftentimes referred to as tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. But you don't have to play tennis and you don't have to play golf to have these two conditions. These two conditions can be presented to the massage therapist from individuals who work on keyboards and computers, from individuals who work with tools like hammers and uh, screwdrivers. It can be anyone that spends a lot of time with repetitive motions utilizing their hands, wrists, and the muscles of the form. Epicondylitis can be a nagging condition that not only is annoying, but often painful. A great way to resolve that for the massage therapist is using instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization to free up any low-level adhesions around the attachment points on both the lateral and medial epicondyle while lengthening the tissue associated with those attachments, such as fascia and other assorted muscles that are part of the upper extremity complex, like the triceps or the biceps. I like using the Hot Grips Pro Multi-Tool because it gives me seven different angles that I can use for contact points. When I'm working with the lateral epicondylitis, just making really nice, long instrument strokes in just a very short period of time, I start to create some nice coloration indicating some impact on the tissue. When I do this, take the upper extremity and put some slight decompressive traction onto the elbow joint to ensure that you're getting optimal length tension on the target muscles. The same applies on the inside, on the medial epicondyle. Again, I make really nice instrument strokes while applying slight decompressive traction to the elbow joint. I'll go proximal to distal and then distal to proximal and I just simply change the edge. So I've got the concave edge here and then I just reverse it the other way. Now what you'll notice is that it doesn't take long at all with the instrument to create some nice reddening and blood movement into this tissue. What's great about this particular instrument is that I can very quickly make these adjustments and changes in the contact point in a way that's seamless and doesn't interfere with the rhythmic flow that the massage therapist has established with the treatment. So I can create a very rhythmic flow. I can put the triceps into a slight bit of length tension to enhance the effectiveness. I can go distal proximal, proximal distal in a seamless fashion that will create a nice release in this upper extremity area. And when I get to the lateral uh, uh, epicondyle, I can take the upper extremity, internally rotate, slight bit of flexion at the wrist to put some length tension on the attachment. By putting some tension and stretch on the attachment, it will enhance the responsiveness of the instrument work. Now I go to really precision contact points on the instrument while I've got the extensor muscles in a nice stretched position to enhance the responsiveness of this application. 
And you'll notice that when I'm using the instrument, I'm not gouging out the tissue. I'm not trying to dig up the muscle. I'm simply using this well-designed instrument as an extension of the sensitivity I've already developed in my hands as a massage therapist. So for massage therapists, this is really an extension to get your hands that already have this wonderfully developed awareness and it's a way to enhance your awareness. This is a way to supercharge the awareness and sensitivity you have in your hands. So this is used as an extension. And with that in mind, you want an instrument that has good weight to it, that allows the proprioception in your hands to make a connection with the instrument where it becomes an extension. This is important. You don't want an instrument that's too light or an instrument that's too heavy. You want one that has a nice weight so that the proprioception in your hands, the joints of your hands, the joints of your wrist respond to the instrument as an extension of your tactile awareness. When I come over to the medial epicondyle, I can put some length tension by extending the wrist. So now I have some stretch here. I can use any of the edges that are available to me to stimulate this attachment. There are so many options available with this multi-tool that the sky's the limit on how well you can enhance this. You can take the handlebar and do some active assisted techniques. So the techniques that we use in massage where we have active movement while you are applying the massage is really enhanced when you use an instrument. I'm going to use the medium handlebar here and what I'll do is I have the client simply hold their arm out and then all I'll have her do is make this movement with her wrist. So she just simply extends and flexes the wrist and while that is happening I can simply take this handlebar and as she's doing that so you can see as she goes into extension there's my movement and this is a beautiful way to free up forearms and then I'll just reverse that so here in this position she'll come up with the wrist into extension and go down into flexion and I take the medium handlebar get myself into a nice position here and as she goes down I simply create a nice instrument release on these forearms that will free forearms up in a very very fast rapid effective amount of time so instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization for lateral and medial epicondylitis, for tightness in forearms, and as a way to enhance the function of forearm muscles that allow athletes and active adults alike to have more effective gripping, more effective control, and less pain and annoying irritation.